Hi, this is Ian, your SDMLS specialist. Let's talk about how to use the print and print plus functions in Paragon. For mastery of this and all topics, please remember to play, pause, and practice. To start, let's complete a residential search. I have some basic criteria here on my page. I'm going to click search to bring up my results. Let's say that uh, I am interested in printing the first three of these five properties. I'm going to go ahead and put a check mark in these boxes. Notice that the check marks on this report are here on the left hand side. If you happen to be viewing an agent report, your check box will be here in the top right corner of the report you can easily select it here as well. Let's click the back button to show you that it has deselected on this page as well. Let's go ahead and click here to return that check mark. But now that we're ready to print, when we go to print, we see there are two options. There's print and then print plus. Print is the best option to choose if you wish to print the report that you are viewing. If you wish to print everything on your page, we're simply going to just click print. And we will immediately see we are ready to go right now. Your browser's print button comes right up. You can click here and go ahead and print what you see on this page. But as you can see, all of our properties are there, not just the ones that are selected. That's the one big difference between print and print plus. Print is going to give you everything you see on your page, be it the spreadsheet or the agent report. If you were to click on print here, you would simply have the ability to print this one report. Print Plus is a great feature. This can be used to print multiple listings and multiple reports all at the same time. Remembering that we had three selected, when you choose Print Plus, you'll have an option here that says Selected. It assumes that since you've selected those three, that these are the ones you'd like to print. Your other options would be to select all listings or of course your current listing which happens to be the one that is on the page in the background here. In most cases HTML will run a bit faster however you are bound by the limitations of your printer. Choosing PDF will always guarantee that you'll get a perfect print. From the list here of available reports, you may choose more than one report. Bear in mind, the report you're viewing, again here in the background, is already going to be selected for you under the selected reports. Notice Agent Preferred 1 right here. In this case, I'd like to also print out a client copy. Let's go to Client Preferred 1 and choose it. Let's scroll through the list until we find Client Preferred 1, put a check mark here, and then add it over. But then I thought to myself, wait, you know, it's actually Client Preferred 2 that I want to send my client. Let me go ahead and choose that one and add that. But now I'm going to send too many reports. Let's remove this one. What we need to do is simply check mark the one you want to remove. Let's remove that check mark because we're very happy with that report. With this option selected, we'll use the option that says remove. Perfect. 
Now that I have my reports under the selected reports, I'm ready to go. I don't need to check mark these. A check mark here would simply mean that I needed to remove one of those properties. So with my report selected, I have a few options. If I have done this several times and I know that these are the reports that I want, I can click print. Doing so will generate your PDF and then immediately take you to your printer options so you can choose your printer and click print. You'll still have a chance to preview by scrolling down. Some choose to preview before printing and it looks very similar except you'll click here and again in a moment you'll notice that we have your reports generated. The only extra step would be for you to then scroll through here and then decide to click print and you're going to get back to this familiar page. Either way will work just fine. The other option here is to minimize. When you click on minimize, it simply moves this box down to the bottom left hand corner of your screen. You can do other work, make sure there weren't any other properties that you needed, and then come on back and click on it to return to where you were. You can of course close the window by clicking on close. This has been how to use print and print plus in Paragon. For help on other topics, I hope that you'll visit us at sdmls.com. Click on the Paragon icon in the top left corner and then select training videos. This has been Ian, your SDMLS specialist, reminding you to play, pause, and practice.